Alright guys, we're going to dig in this bin real quick. I'm kind of curious. Because there's just so many babies. So, I'm going to spray it down a little bit first. Just don't want any turning any little draw lumps into this. So this huge mass, you see it move? We're gonna dig into that real quick. I am so curious. And we got, oh look at that. I don't know how well you can see that. But those are all babies on there. That's an apple core. I just put that in there yesterday. And it was a nice size apple core. These guys go through all this like crazy, but watch. Look at this. See all the babies in there with them. But yeah, we're gonna take some out of this bin. And I'm thinking about starting another bin. Because I don't want any overpopulation issues. Because I'm really trying to breed them out. I'm not trying to see how many I can get in one bin or anything like that. As impressive as that is to look at, oh, they're just all over my fingers. I really want to add there. See, these pins aren't very deep. So I try to keep them pretty shallow. There's a lot of them in here. And I like to keep them separated. I mean, there are numbers down in these bins quite a bit because actually I'm trying to breed them. I don't want them to overpopulate and slow down in breeding. So I keep them with plenty of food and with plenty of moisture and plenty of open space for them to grow because as long as they got those things they seem to breed like crazy oh man i got so many on my fingers they're just so tiny but yeah i just wanted to show you guys you know that massive worm ball and they're out all along the edges too I'm sure don't see many over here got a few out on the sides I don't know why normally they're on that side over there So I'm going to take this bin apart and we'll film them and I'll see if I can't pull them all out and get them all together. So I'm not finding any brand new babies, you know the ones that they're, they look like a little tiny white stream. Not seeing anything like that so. But I do see a lot of babies. I mean a lot of babies. 
and they're gonna grow and that'll just completely fill this bin and they'll start regulating themselves and they'll slow down in breeding and I don't want to have that happen so I got two more uh, watermelon bins and I'm gonna put instead of the one ton bags for now I'm gonna put them in the big 400 gallon plastic bags and that'll give them enough room because this isn't the only bin that looks like this bin number two uh, and bin number five I believe this is bin number four but I think I can take some out of bin five I know bin two is going to get pulled apart like this and this one's getting pulled apart like you know like this one's going to get pulled apart so but between just this bin and bin two I'll have enough babies and stuff and plus my two baby bins to completely fill out my space that I have available. That's why I want to move all my worms to the back and then build two big bins up in here. Up, up in here. Two big bins in here. Or just one big bin for now, but that's what I want to do. And I want to make it I'm thinking 16 foot by 4 foot by about as deep as this, you know, 2 foot deep or so. Well, thank you guys. Like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for future videos because I got a few coming up. We will be going through this bin. I will be going through bin number 2. And you all get to see all that. That's coming up in the next 2 weeks. And plus there's going to be a lot of cleaning and rearranging, so look forward to that.